Ah, the Megaton Hammer. And welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo Wii U. This Let's Play is brought to you by MustGames.ca. And I just got back from, got home from work uh, not that long ago, about an hour ago. I also picked up a new game, Overwatch. Yeah, I got Overwatch. Oh, you just managed to hit me before. Um down. But yeah, see these blocks? We can now destroy them. Which reminds me, remember back in the entrance to this temple? There was a door on the left side? No, it was the right side. That had those blocks in front of it? Yeah. We do have to deal with that. But we gotta take on these fire keys first. And my phone's going off. Uh, one of my friends, she keeps texting. You're not hearing it because I put my phone on silent before I started recording this video. Ooh, there we go. Um. Should I kill that fire keys? Hmm. Oh, I think I got hit it from the top. Yeah, I got hit it from the top. And there we go. Creep the stairs. Oh, there's a block down there, by the way. So, yeah. We need these. Rather than just go down and have to come all the way back up. Yeah, we need one of these blocks. So, tomorrow I'm going to be hanging out with Cole and Colette. Most likely, hopefully. I know that Cole and Colette do have plans during the day. Uh, but hopefully mid-afternoon into the evening we'll be able to hang out. I know Bongo's not going to be around. Uh, but, yeah. But anyway, hopefully we get to hang out. If not, if we don't get to hang out, then that just means I'll be recording a lot. Technically... What's behind that pillow behind me? I can hit that. And it will actually... Put me right back into the room where we meant to do it again. But I'm not doing that right yet because we still have to get the boss key or the big key or whatever you want to call it. At least not like Skyward Sword, we got those. That's one that I. That's, you know, that's another thing I didn't like about Skyward Sword. Well, me that I didn't like about Skyward Sword. It's a great game, storyline wise. I gotta admit, storyline wise, it was good, great game. Temples were great, the items are cool, but two things I did uh, a few things I didn't like. One, the stamina meter. Hated the stamina meter idea. Uh, two, the controls were really shitty. Like, how many times did I have to pause my game and go to the map? And if you watch a new big bottom is open, you can see him do it every now and then. You have to go in and do the map to kind of like, uh, Realign the controls. Sometimes you even have to take the nunchuck out of the Wii remote and put it back in in order to like align everything. And that's not good, Nintendo. So when you do come up with the new Zelda which keeps constantly being delayed, I don't see it coming out until next year now when uh, the new Nintendo system comes out, which is codenamed NX right now. I don't even think it's going to come out for the Wii U, I don't think. Unless they do what they did with Twilight Princess. Which was they released it on GameCube and they made a launch title for the original Wii. They could do that. Release it on Wii U, Zelda U. And then make it a launch title for the NX. Maybe that's what Nintendo's gonna do. But they already said it won't be out this year. Maybe out sometime next year. And that's what I'm thinking they're doing. They're it because of next Nintendo console. Basically, they'll let history repeat itself. And do what they basically did when they, um, when the Wii, original Wii came out. Like, what, 2006 or something? But yeah. I think that's what they're doing. But as of right now, I have not played Overwatch. I have it on the PS4, by the way. I could have got it on Xbox One. Uh, nah, I'm about to get it on the PS4. I don't really play my Xbox One that much. Although I did buy the Xbox One way before I bought the PS4. But, because I only bought the PS4 like... Back in, you know, 
Jeez, I got stuck walking to the bottom. I bought the PS4 back in November of last year, November 2015. Actually, I got it on Black Friday, part of Black Friday sales. Uh, I had that day off from work because I get a lot of the, I, like I said in the past, in previous LP videos and LP videos and all that, I uh, get a lot of the American holidays off of my job. And I had Memorial Day off, which was last. Actually, yeah, it was about a week or so, almost two weeks ago then. Jeez, I gotta stop walking to the file. At least I get the, this tunic on. I should have that was coming. But yeah, at least I got the tunic on, which means I'm taking less damage with the file, but still. Ooh, holy rocks. Um, but. Yeah. And I bought the Xbox One. A few months after it came out, actually. It came out in November, was it 2013 it came out? Something along that lines. And anyway, a few months later, February, no. February 2014. Yes, February 2014. Because December 2014, I left my job uh, with Sykes. A.K. Rogers, and then I uh, took a month off, which was Christmas time, and then I ended up going to uh, NGA, which is where I'm to now. So yeah, so it was February 2014 that I bought the Xbox One, then a month later I ended up working, uh, becoming a work-at-home person when it came to uh, Rogers, uh, the call center and everything, and then that December, they, uh, no, they basically, I, they did layoffs at that place, they were doing comebacks, I guess, and unfortunately I was one of the ones that got laid off, uh, so I figured, oh, I'm not going to look for a job right now, it was like December 8th, 2014, at that point, and I was just like, oh, I'm not going to uh, look for a job right now, and start with my focus, because I'll wait until the new year, but I was looking, I just wasn't applying. And then right at the beginning of January, like when on New Year's Day and everything, I applied for NGA because I saw a website. Which that website no longer exists now. Thank you very much, Government of Land Labrador, because uh, it used to be called Jobs and L. And I think the current government that just came into power last year did away with that website. Which I don't understand. It's trying to help people find jobs in the province, and it was actually funded by the government. I guess they wanted to come back on it and not pay for it. Anyway. And now with that particular company. And then I wasn't even with them a year. And I bought the PS4. Which was a few months back in November. But that's six, seven, seven and a almost, yeah, almost eight months ago. November 28th, I think, of 2015 is when I bought the PS4. But anyway, we're back here in the main lobby. Oh, uh, Got me in the back. But I have my heart back. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so. Megaton Hammer dance. If you haven't noticed, we're gonna have to use the Megaton Hammer for the boss. Just so. Uh, in this room. Uh, ooh, up slash. You gotta kill all these. Now, you can actually use the Megaton Hammer on these guys. You can shock them. Oh, you just slice and dice. Yeah, there's different ways of killing those guys. It doesn't really matter how you do it, just do it. Anyway. Oh, the four tiles are back. Let's attack the four tiles! It's the Queen of the Harpies! Good old Simpsons. Um, actually, that's on. Right now, freaking. What's on? Family Feud is on. It's about 9 o'clock in the night now. Uh, yeah, so these guys. <laughs> 
Oh crap! No 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 no! I lost my freaking red tunic and shield. If I don't kill him fast enough, he'll uh, keep, uh, uh, lose them. Then I have to go get buy new ones. Okay, so I got my shield back, and I should. Ah, there it is. The tunic. Okay, probably have to re-equip them uh, manually. Which is kind of a downer, but yeah. That's what happens with the light bikes. That's what those are called, by the way. They can take your shield and they can take your tunic. And if you don't kill them fast enough, uh, you lose them, I do believe, and you have to basically go buy new ones. And you gotta have to go back and buy a Hylidian shield, and I uh, would have to go back to Goron City and talk to the shopkeeper, and you can buy the red tunic. Thankfully, I don't have to do that. Oh, round two with this little bitch. And this time, I'm going to kick your ass. By the way, the, when he's on the ground like this, you can actually use. You leave. The Megaton Hammer. Actually, shockwaves him. Oh yeah, he's... I learned my lesson from the last video about this guy. So... I could use off slashes. Uh, 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 jump, jump attacks and it actually will kill him more. But it is really bad. Oh, I miss. It's kind of hard to see with that fire. <laughs> oh, I just missed it, yes. Bitch. Just still on this face. Also bought a new book uh, this week, Star Wars. Blood Lines is basically a prequel book to the Force Awakens movie that came out last year. Which I, actually I also have the Force Awakens book too, so... But yeah. Uh, and there's a new Tom Clancy book coming out. I know Tom Clancy passed away, but that's just a theme. So he always had a co-writer, a uh, co-author. And that co-author, the museum now, is still continuing to do the books. So I'm going to be buying that book. It doesn't come out until June 14. Uh, so I'm going to be buying that for my father for Father's Day. So this is coming Tuesday. Then luckily there's a Coles bookstore in the middle of Jamal, where I don't want to for a year. When I go on break. And we'll buy. See what I mean? You don't have to use a bookshot. If you got the Megaton Hammer, you're close enough, the shockwave will actually knock him out of it. So. Do that. And he's dead. He's dead, Jim. I think this is just bombs. But you have to defeat him in order to move on. I do believe these are just bombs. <laughs> Yep, bombs. Okay. So yeah, I haven't played Overwatch yet. Please no spoilers. By the time you watch this, it'll be Monday. I'm not putting this video up tomorrow, uh, which is the 11th. I'm going to be putting it up on Monday. Sadly, it's just going to be a, basically a relaxed day during the morning. Uh, then it's going to be possibly recording. Then hang out with maybe Colin Colette. If I'm not hanging out with him, then it's more recording. Maybe meant the movie. Don't know yet, and then Sunday's gonna be recorded again, mainly Final Fantasy X. And, uh, Classic Mirror World, so, you know, this will probably be about Monday. 
Yes, we're releasing you. So, after I'm talk finished talking about this gun, I'm going to beat you back in that room where so you can smash a pillow. And then uh, brings you back into the center column room, or I'm going to beat you there. Okay, so we're back here. Um, uh, living in this area? Yeah. Wait, where we near the, went into the room to saw the tar or anything? Yep. Well, watch what happens when we hit the Megaton over here. Surprisingly, you don't take damage for this. Remember this room? You sure? Because right behind us is the boss door. And the only reason we'll go back this way is back over where those pots were to. You can get the fairies again. So you know, fairy in the bottom. Go it the right way. Oh wait, isn't that supposed to be genie? And that sounds so old. All right, so yeah, fairy in the bottle. It's a guy with a fairy in a bottle. Whatever. I don't even know the whole lyrics. That's so all. I know is Chris Angel. But anyway, was not she a host on the show The Voice at one time? Or no, one of the judges, the host. I don't remember. I don't watch The Voice. I know Colette does. But I don't watch American Idol or The Voice or, you know, uh, I don't really watch reality shows. I don't really like them. Anyway, I think we're going to stop the video here and in the next time we're taking the boss. Nah, let's take the boss now. Let's take on the boss now. And this is one of the easiest bosses in the game, in my opinion. Yep, easiest boss ever. Oh, and the platform just happens to go back to the lava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't get to use that platform again, apparently. Ah, the subterranean lava dragon. Over here. Yep. This guy is actually really easy. And you do need the Megaton Hammer. Well, you can't even get to this room without the Megaton Hammer, obviously, so. But yeah, we're gonna use a dungeon item. So basically, stick his head up, and then what you can do is hit him in the head, he'll fall down. Uh, game. Why I don't know why the game target it like that. Game. I don't even know why he's on the sword. Okay, seriously. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. Get him again. Okay. Um. He's gonna go the air. Yeah, you can actually climb on the side here. So he'll fly around this and might shoot out fire breath. He may also. Drop box on you. Boulders. And in that case, you just hide inside. Oh yeah, now he'll start trying to trick you. Hide on the side. Let's see, here's the box. So. They can't hit you when you're on the side. Keep that in mind. And just because it goes back in the hole, wait a few seconds because rocks are still falling.
Okay, now he can go back up. There he is. I don't care what you gotta say, Navi. You really don't have an opinion. Uh, he might use his fire attack. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay, we can call back up, I guess. Uh, because he's not using the rocks. Ah, now he uses three. Oh, he actually hit me. It actually took off two hearts of damage. box will only drop on the surfaces here so it doesn't go over the edges. If it did and it was able to get you on the side like this, that would be a pretty big move. But, uh, that is. Oh, he's like taking a nibble. I'm like taking a nibble more damage than I want. That is. Whoa! We need that fire, my friend. I think he only has another hit or so left. Can't be much left to him. We can go back up. He's gonna drop him all of us. There we go. And he's dead. Yay! He's dead. He's gonna turn the bones. We're gonna call Doctor Temperance Brennan, people. We have to zone in these bones. Find out the cause of death. Cause of death. He die in a green suit, hammering the, putting a big, big, huge hammer to its head. Yeah. Anyway, not a hot container. Then we can step into the light. And we're gonna go back to the sacred realm. And of course, we'll get the power of Darunia, the fire temper, and the fire sage added to our own. And of course, that mysterious fire vortex going over uh, the mountain there is going to stop. We need to turn Peace to Death Mountain. So that's two temples now. The Forest Temple. And uh, the Fire Temple. The next temple is going to be everybody's favorite temple, the Water Temple. I know it's called the one one two's favorite. Seriously, it gives him nightmares. He hates that temple. He hates water levels in general. Me, I don't mind the Water Temple as much. Doesn't really bother me. Well, of course, we're not going to go straight to the Water Temple. We might do some side questing. Plus, there's a side, a side part that we have to do in order to go to the Water Temple. So, we got to do that, too. But, anyway. That's neither here nor there at this point, particular point. <laughs> Family feud. I don't know what they're saying, but because I got that mute, but interesting show. That's all I gotta say. Oh, Selena Gomez. There's a question with Selena Gomez. Oh, Justin Bieber. Get off my screen. Not that I'm a fan of Selena Gomez, I'm just saying I prefer her over Justin Bieber. Hell, I prefer Miley Cyrus over Justin Bieber. Anyway, uh, now we're back here, I'm going to stop the video, and in the next part, uh, we'll probably do some side questing, I'm not too sure yet, uh, but we'll find out in the next part. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.